Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a monthly tarot reading for my Virgos for the month of December 2016. And if you like to have a reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. Thank you for those who subscribe already and welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you guys for all your likes, your shares, all of your comments, private messages. Truly means a lot to me. I also posted below the video where you could find me on social media as well. You can now book me for a private reading on my Facebook page below the video, all the information. Uh, is available and now my Virgos on to your reading. I want you to know that prior to recording your reading I meditate and ask spirit for guidance and I shuffle the cards as well. So let's see what we have for you as a general theme my Virgos uh, for the month of December. Five of Cups. Let's see what we have in the past influences Six of Rods. Let's see what we have in the future. Page of Swords. The Reason. Knight of Pentacles. And let's see what we have for the potential. Will of Fortune. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Um... As a general theme for the month of December, my Virgos, be mindful not to be disappointed, okay? Something about your network, okay? The, the Five of Cups is a general theme, and it also came in the right position in my spread. So it, it could be your, your network. The Three of Cups is... It's about network, network of people. Just be careful about your expectation. It's the during the holidays. I know that some of my Virgos, you know, are sensitive during this period. Um, so just be mindful of that, um, my Virgos, because the past influences, you certainly are going, you were going somewhere with it. There's a goal. Um, you felt good. Um... And now, just now, there's some disappointment. So the disappointment could be there. It couldn't be there. It really depends. Um, it's about vision and clarity. And the future is a page of swords. So it tells me that there's a little bit of a maturity on how you're looking at it or how you will look at it, okay? Especially in this card, you know, there's different level of maturity in terms of court card. Page of swords is the most immature, okay? And then we have the Knight of Swords and then the King of Swords, okay? Now, it doesn't mean that they <clears throat> communicate, you know, better as they age <laughs> necessarily, but the Page of Swords, in this energy, you can see that he has his swords, you know, ahead of himself, so there's an element of being on a defensive, okay? Where, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that could be misinterpreted for the month of, December, I think it is also when Mercury will go uh, retrograde. And I think for you, really depending on what you do right now, the beginning, beginning of the month could have a certain uh, impact on you. And we see that with the Wheel of Fortune in the right position as the potential, which is the outcome. It really depends on how you're going to do this, what type of of reaction you're going to have, okay? Here it seems to be um, in terms of maturity because we have, uh, here the reason is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles, um, he likes to take his time to learn, you know? He wants to learn, but his the way he sees it is slow and steady wins the race. He's not in a rush into nothing because... He knows that what he's after is of value, essentially that, you know, it's worth pursuing, even if it takes time, because 
the value will be will increase in time. So this is where he's coming from. He looks at things in that matter, right? So that's the reason <clears throat> where you're going to maybe able to manifest something suddenly out of the out of the blue just on depending on how you know you're going to handle it. But I'm telling you Page of Swords is a little immature. Okay? Um and so and it's also it's turning your back. It's turning, you know, it's in this way. So it could be that maybe you're basing, you're, you're um, making a decision based on what you have heard. Uh, it may not be, it, this doesn't seem to be a direct communication. They may, it may be something in December, in December that you find out or that is being revealed to you where you're like, you could have two different type of reactions. Okay, but with the Mercury retrograde, I would look at the Nine of Pentacles. You know, like you know where he's the one. He's he has an armor. He's already you know ready to shield himself. Then putting yourself maybe you know on a defensive. Okay, but that is a general reading. It could come out very differently from uh, different Virgos. But I feel that this energy is something that. Um, could be very beneficial for you because the Wheel of Fortune is the only major arcana in the spread. And so the importance is proceed any any other cards. And the fact that it's in the outcome, it's in the potential po uh, position. So you, you know that at this moment, there's different things that you could do, even if you don't know what they are specifically. And with the Mercury retrograde Virgo, let me tell you, don't spend the night thinking about what I'm saying or why. Don't try to necessarily piece all that is together. It has to make sense to, to you personally. It's very personal to each Virgo. But at this moment, it really is how you're going to take time to respond or the action that you're going to take after the fact that... Uh, will have an impact more than anything and it seems to be if, if you know and you guys are highly intelligent with the will of fortune crowning your reading it seems to be that this could be a very very unexpected beneficial um occurrence in your life that could either make you wealthy and wealthy is not just about money it could be some type of abundance that you needed that is just now you know it's a new year maybe 2017 is your year um <clears throat> but the current energy i'm telling you just try to have a detachment into it not be too emotional because the five of cups is there's an energy attached to it that is a sorrows and it's about disappointment and as you can see in this card he's looking at you know there's of course cups behind him of course but he's you know he's looking at what he lost and that's you know the, i always love to say we always have to adapt to the ever-changing flow of life maybe there's a flow that you maintain and now it has to stop where now it's a different type of energy, and even if it's, it may not be as pleasant as it, you know, the one before, as we have the past influences, as the six of rods, it's still a flow of life, and we all go through this cycle. Um, but for some reason, it shows that ultimately, <clears throat> you know, next year. It could be very beneficial for you with the will of fortune, and it could be very close. It doesn't have to be like tours. This is I will do a yearly tower reading for each sign, but this is not a yearly reading. It's just to say that this is very near a will of fortune as the outcome, and so there's something to look forward to. So any moment that you go through this energy or this place where there's this, you know. Because, in a way, Virgos, they like to control. When things don't go their way, 
you know, they not the one to just resist the change. It's just they're fine with it. They just move on, but they still go through the process. You know, they're not like, uh, let's say, uh, Leo. They're Leo, they will hold on to it, and then they will hold on to the process of the process of loss, and they will hold. But Virgo goes through it, even if it's just like it seems to be fast. Just the, the time, the energy spent in there is still something that is. Um, is still there. It's still present with them. So that could be for the month of December. But I'm looking at the Wheel of Fortune. So think about that once you uh, understand this month, how this resonates with you. Hold on to this. And I think this will happen very soon. And so make sure you set your intention as well to manifest the things that you desire because the Wheel of Fortune, you know, it's unexpected uh gain positive outcome uh coming um cur coming at your door and i know you'll enjoy it but i'm gonna end this reading here for you my beautiful virgos let me know how this resonated with you leave me comments until next month and you lots of kisses i love you